Aggressive dogs bite people more than 4.5 million times each year. Fatal dog attacks in the United States cause the deaths of about 30 to 50 people each year, and the number of deaths from dog attacks appears to be increasing. Therefore, if you're thinking about adopting a dog, it's natural to worry about whether they will become aggressive and bite you or someone you love. In our episode today, I'll let you know the most banned dog breeds in the world. But before we start, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. The Dogo Argentino The Dogo Argentino is a pack-hunting dog, bred for the pursuit of big game such as wild boar and puma. The Dogo gives the impression of explosive power and energy, developed to find, chase, and catch dangerous game. The Dogo Argentino, or the Argentinian Mastiff, is a dog breed often compared to a pit bull, and therefore considered one of the most dangerous dog breeds. At this point, you might not be surprised to learn that Dogo Argentino is physically powerful and possesses a formidable bite. Dogo Argentino is a large and powerful breed and capable of taking down even the strongest of predators. With its strength and agility, it could easily overpower a lion in combat. This attractive white dog was bred from a fighting breed, but was also mixed with mellow dogs like the Irish Wolfhound and Great Dane to develop a strong dog with massive abilities. The only people who use the Dogo Argentino for fighting are doing so illegally. Presa Canario One of the planet's most imposing and most dangerous dog breeds is the Presa Canario, or simply Presa. This breed is widely considered to make for a loyal pet and a first-rate guard dog when appropriately raised. But it also has a reputation as a fearsome fight dog with an aggressive streak when it is not well trained. Unfortunately, canario attacks are known to happen and can prove deadly. The Presa Canario breed has been responsible for several reported dog attacks. A comprehensive study was carried out into violent dog incidents between 1982 and the end of 2014. Presa Canario bite attacks were the fourth most common among all breeds. Over this period, Presa Canarios was responsible for 111 attacks causing bodily harm. That number includes 18 deaths and 63 maiming injuries that caused permanent disfigurement. Rottweiler The Rottweiler is one of the oldest purebred lines. It was once bred exclusively for herding, but today the Rottweiler is commonly sold illegally for dogfighting purposes. Approximately 40 human fatalities per year are reported annually involving a Rottweiler. Rottweilers are rather heavy for their size, and although they are passive most of the time, they don't react well to sharp words, forceful petting, or rapid movement. Children often receive serious bite injuries simply by coming up too close to one of these dogs from behind. Rottweilers are quick learners and exhibit strong loyalty to their owners. However, due to their size, strength, and the force behind their bites, they can be potentially hazardous if not trained properly. To prevent behavioral problems or aggressive tendencies, it's essential to maintain firm control over a Rottweiler. Doberman You may have already noticed that movies often feature Doberman pinchers when they want to portray the most dangerous dog breeds, mainly due to the breed's strong, intimidating presence. This breed is known to be one of the most aggressive dog breeds globally. Known for their pointy ears and slender bodies, Doberman Pinschers were bred specifically to serve as guard dogs, and its snarling facial expression has kept many a would-be thief from carrying out a devious plan. This breed is very protective of its owners and can be a good choice for those with young children. It's enough to know that Pinscher in German refers to how they attack and bite prey. It's a breed specifically bred for a purpose, and that is to attack. Doberman dogs react negatively to unknown individuals treading upon their home turf. Pet owners must take special precautions to keep their Dobermans out of contact with strangers. Pitbull Almost every day a story surfaces about a fatal or near-fatal incident involving a pit bull and a human. This breed has evolved from a line of fighters and is popular among those wanting a four-legged companion as a protector. Although it should come as no surprise to most people who study dangerous dog breeds, the pit bull is the most dangerous dog. 
While not a breed recognized by the American Kennel Club, Pit Bull is a catch-all used to include bulldogs and terriers rather than a single dog breed. Pit Bulls rank far above all other breeds when it comes to reported bite fatalities. Over 13 years, the Pit Bull was responsible for 284 deaths, roughly two-thirds of all fatal dog attacks in the United States. That is a rather discouraging statistic, considering that only 6% of all dogs in the United States are pit bulls. They were bred to be dangerous for generations as hunting dogs and fighting dogs, so it is no surprise these dogs continue to be a threat to this day. Another reason pit bulls are the most dangerous dog breed is that they have large bodies weighing up to 80 pounds, strong jaws, and great killer instincts. This animal is known to attack children and adults with little or no provocation. Humans and animals don't stand a chance against a pit bull. Still, many insist these animals are merely a product of their upbringing and have loving pit bulls as pets. German Shepherds German Shepherds are working dogs that have been used in militaries and police forces in recent decades. The reasons for this choice are obvious. These are robust, intelligent, powerful, and dangerous dogs that can inflict deadly attacks on people. Weighing about 90 pounds and standing over two feet tall, the German Shepherd breed is perfect at curtailing human threats. Unfortunately, as far as aggressive dog breeds go, German Shepherds excel in aggression and territoriality, and they were the cause of 20 deaths and numerous non-fatal biting incidents. Although they are considered one of the most dangerous dog breeds, German Shepherds often take on the role of guardians and exhibit a protective nature toward their families. Modern breeding practices have significantly reduced outward aggressiveness in these dogs. However, the key concern with this breed lies in its physical strength. When not adequately trained or socialized, their bite and physical power can undoubtedly cause harm. Cane Corso You'll definitely feel safer with a Cane Corso around. This giant dog breed is fiercely loyal and protective of the people they love, able to intimidate strangers with a single look. The Cane Corso dog, sometimes referred to as King Corso, is a large, muscular dog breed originally from Italy. The Corso's history describes him as having a vigorous temperament, ready to meet any challenge. They originally bred this mean-looking dog to be a hunting companion to avid hunters. And because of their strength, Cane Corso was great at catching mountain lions and boars. Their work included rounding up pigs or cattle and helping to drive them to market as well. This breed is one of the most dangerous dogs because they have a high predation drive and will be well-suited with someone extremely familiar with the breed and who understands how to train and keep them. Cane Corso isn't a good dog to own when you have kids in the family due to its unruly and rambunctious nature. Which dog is the best to own from your point of view? Please comment below in the comment section to let us know. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your likes and comments encourage me to continue. See you very soon with a new episode.